Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the course, How to Use Zebra HZ. This is video 13, and today we're talking about the FM lower panel. So let's right-click the display port, go to init preset, and then underneath OSC1, let's add FMO1. And let's disable the first oscillator here. So we're just looking at this first FMO. Where it says mode FM by input, let's change this to FM self. So we just have a sine wave right here. And we'll bring up our volume just a bit here. Okay, so one of the big differences between the oscillator modules and the FMOs is that the oscillators have their own individual tabs down over here, whereas the FMOs have one tab and they all fit inside here. So this window is not really too complicated, but there's a couple things I do want to bring your attention to. So by default, we have this sine wave. Now down over here where it says pure sine and you see a sine wave here, that's why we're getting that sine wave. Now we can select this and we have a lot of different choices to choose from here. So we can go to quadric sine and change that shape there. Then we can go to dual AM sign. And I'm also scrolling with my mouse wheel. It's a really nice way to, uh, to move stuff around. And then we have half sign. Then we have sign shift, quadric shift, AM shift, dual positive. And I believe that's the last one. So basically we have a couple different shapes to choose from. So if we want to do some interesting stuff with self-modulation with different shapes, we can totally do so. So like this dual AM sign, which is kind of weird if we start FMing itself. We get some weird stuff right over there. Over to the right here, we have this horizontal bar here. So basically this is key scale pitch. So by default, it's at 100%, which is correct if you wanna have perfect semitone intervals. So if you wanna have something different where each note isn't a perfect semitone above or below, then you can always change this value over here. Something kind of weird. So what's kind of interesting, if you actually went to negative 100, something like this here, it's still gonna be in semitones, but instead of, if you're going up the keyboard, instead of ascending, you're gonna be descending in pitch. It's kind of weird to wrap your head around, but that's an easy way to kind of visualize what this is doing. So as I go down on the scale, it increases in pitch. So it's basically inverting the uh, the notes there, but that's only if it's at negative 100. So double click that for positive 100 if you want the perfect semitone intervals. So down over here, this is basically the same thing as we talked about in the oscillator module. So if you want to go revisit that, definitely go check that out. But we have key scale gain and velocity scale. So we can basically choose on this graph how much gain we want, depending on what note we're pressing. And same thing for velocity. So not too crazy, but uh, I think this is another su subject that we should cover and kind of dive into it because this little waveform here can be kind of hidden if you're not really actively looking for it. So yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something and we'll see you in the next video.